This is the brownest shirt I could find for this video. And you might be seeing this little brown cone over here. And yes, you're absolutely right. In this video, we're gonna be checking out what's inside this uh, Asus Noctua RTX 3070. Let's open it up. Are you sick of seeing activate Windows message on your desktop? Well, it's time to activate your Windows and do it cheap. Go on to whokeys.com where you can find official license keys. If you're looking for Windows 10 Pro key, for example, then all you have to do is search for Windows 10 Pro, select the license and add it to the basket. Use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount. Once you have the license key on your email, click here, here, type in your license key, hit activate and you're all done. Check out whokeys.com in the description below and don't forget to use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount. We have the very famous Noctua NF-A12X25 fans over here. We can see the heatsink, we can see the zero dB technology. This is LHR version as well. Oh, interesting, I thought it was low hash rate. It says light hash rate. This is the OC version. I think there is a non-OC version as well. Eight gigabytes, PCIe 4.0 support, well, I am curious, I wanna see what's inside. Now, ASUS sent me this, and this is on a loan, so I'm not able to keep it. Uh, I wish I did, um, but there's something exciting, hopefully, we're gonna make with this as well, but that's why you see that those seals are already open, because they probably checked the package before they sent it to me, but let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, ho, ho. okay, we have uh, this that says ASUS on it, Let's see what's inside. Speed setup. Look at this little badge or this card that we have inside over here. I don't know, there's like an up version over here. And this says Noctua. There is six stars over here. Asus Noctua. Heat dissipation and overclocking. Pretty cool. We have thank you for purchasing uh, the Asus graphics card. This is really not related to Noctua. I think this is just like a speedy setup thing you can get over there. And then let's have a look inside. Ooh la la. Okay, it looks like something was supposed to be here. Um, so I'm not sure what's missing over here. <laughs> this is massive. It's absolutely. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> this is the thickest graphics card I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you, you'll see in a moment what I mean. Okay, there's some, uh, there's some peels over here. Let me do the honors and peel these off for you. There's a little bit of plastic over here. Okay, we can do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah. This is probably the rarest graphics card in the world. I mean, let me know if if that's true but i'm gonna have to zoom it out because it can't fit all on this top angle four slots thick as you can see one two three four it's insane we have two eight pin pcie connectors over here we have this huge heatsink over there and then let's have a look at the back plate over here as well it's kind of like a weird color it's kind of like purple and kind of like, it's it's not quite brown. Then we also have this little switch over here, uh, which shows like quiet mode and performance mode. So, you know, left is performance, right is quiet mode. And here we can see another piece, massive <laughs> piece of heatsink. And then we can see those beautiful brown Noctua fans. So I can see a little fan cable on this side that goes on the side and then it makes like a little fan hub on the back over here. It's kind of hard to show you this, but then these literal fans are like literally from the boxes or from a PC. There's nothing different. It's literally a four pin PWM fan header that goes in the back of there. There's like a hub of two and then both of these are gonna go there and then it's gonna be controlled there. But just to show you how massive this is, check this out. <laughs> This, this looks like a, what, what is this? This is the Founders Edition 3070, okay? Look how small this is. I mean, even the PCB of the graphics card is bigger than this. So if you put them right next to each other, it's absolutely massive. Let me turn it like sideways so you can really see the, the thickness of this card. So the card is massively longer as well. It's about like five centimeters longer, something like that and obviously much, much more thicker. So if we lay it on top of it, it's literally like twice twice as thick. You could easily put like two of these 
on top of each other and then we have this. The interesting thing is because not a lot of people go with SLI and 3070 can't be an SLI anyway, then what's the point of like, you know, having the second slot of PCIe slot for your graphics card and now you have insane cooling performance. Like we're gonna test this in a moment. We're gonna heat this up and then put them, you know, side to side and then see which one is better. And then this one over here is like a nice rubbery as well. It's like rubber, like the same material as the fan ends over there. This just looks like, like a play toy compared to this. The PCB actually ends over here, right? The PCB is as big as the whole card. The PCB in here is, it ends over here. So the PCB is like this much, like ends there. And then we have another like seven, eight centimeters of PCB going here. That's insane. Like I would say that they're even just the heat sink of, of this is bigger than the whole card. Actually, there's one thing that we didn't check and that is the ports layout on the top over here. So we have two HDMI ports and then three display ports. On the Founders Edition, we have one HDMI port less. The rest of the ports are the same, but here we have one extra. So let's set up a test bench and then see what is the actual difference between these two cards, like the Founders Edition versus this one. I've got the 12900K test bench over here. And then just to show you like how massive this is, this is the 23090. And look at this one. It is so much thicker and it's it's the same length. So it's it's insane. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put the uh, Founders Edition card in first. Let's have a look at some of the specs over here then. Uh, we have the ProArt Z690 board, okay? Amazing board for the creators. Then we have 64 gigabytes of DDR5 Kingston Fury Beast at 5200 megahertz. So basically what we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna run the GPU stress test of the Thermark. So we're gonna absolutely max out this GPU and let's see like what temperature is it gonna hit. Okay, it's getting warmer. It's getting warmer. We're pulling about 222 watts from the socket on the CPU or GPU, sorry. So it's been actually seven minutes, roughly around almost eight minutes. And I can see that the GPU has actually plateaued. So it's sitting around uh, 73, 74 degrees and the only thing that's going to change now is like waiting for the outside temperature to get warm for it to cool down. So basically our GPU is literally staying there so let me just print screen this here. So I've got a sound level meter over here. I'm going to place it over here and I'm going to see how loud is, is it over here. It's around 45 dB at the moment. So now we have reached the maximum of the GPU temperature. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna stop the um, Fermark test and instantly after that, we're gonna be running the Adobe Premiere Pro benchmark and that's gonna use the GPU and we're gonna be looking at what is the GPU gonna be uh, temps like, what are the temps gonna be like, what's the score gonna be like, starting the benchmark now. Okay, I've got the scores, so time to turn off the PC and then swap the GPUs and then do the test again and then we're gonna compare the test results on both of these GPUs. Knock to a card, first turn on. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. Like even at my ear, absolutely against it. I can't hear it. It's completely quiet. <laughs> this is insane. This is, this is crazy. What type of magic is this? Like I can hear the rest of the fans, like all the, the CPU, like AIO and pump and everything, but even at putting my ear like against it, it's just quiet, completely quiet. So we are on the performance mode as well, on the card, not on the quiet mode. GPU stress test on and then go. Okay, so uh, we have run this um, Fermark test now for 10 minutes, almost nine and a half minutes. So it's been a bit longer than on the previous one. The card is absolutely quiet. It, it, it's just insane. It's, it must be like the best air-cooled card that you can get on the market. But now I'm going to take a screenshot because you won't believe me until I actually show you this. The GPU temperature is 58 degrees. It's 100% utilized. 
we're pulling about 240 watts from the socket so that is extra 20 watts we're pulling more power and the gpu is like cool as a cucumber basically the hotspot is 69 degrees and the gpu temperature is 50 it's it's hovering about 57 56 degrees this is insanity it's absolutely insane like do you know how cool this is i mean it's cool and cool all at the same time now let's run the P premiere pro benchmark and then let's see if we're going to get a, a different result interestingly enough bear in mind the ambient temperature in the room has actually raised about a degree and a half so it was 23.8 when we were doing the previous one uh, with the founders edition but now we have 25 degrees ambient which means that this result is even more impressive so the premiere pro benchmark for this card has finished as well and looking at the differences the performance difference isn't that big like with the founders edition we got 1275 points whereas on this noctua one we got 1289 points which is very very small like within one percent or something like that so it could be a margin of error not that big of a difference in terms of performance but what is imp important is that this card can sustain the performance longer because of the temperatures are so much lower. So I'm looking at the differences over there. The Founders Edition card over here, this one reached 73 degrees maximum temperature during Premiere Pro Benchmark, which is 14 degrees higher than this Nocto one. The Nocto one max temperatures are 59.3 degrees and the hotspot is 70 degrees whereas on this uh, founders edition one the hot hotspot was 85 degrees now that is a massive massive difference also the founders edition card had about 1.2 degrees warmer environment which means that you can actually add that to the top so our difference is roughly about 15 degrees in just this one test now the longer we would run it the more we'd see the difference and the more the performance difference would be because this card is slightly more powerful than this one and performs cooler as well. This is absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna leave this video on that one. Hit subscribe because I have an absolutely crazy idea what to do with this card. A PC build that would kind of reflect this card. Now I'd love to know your recommendations in the description below. So if you have any, let me know in the description below. Thanks guys for watching, likes if you enjoyed it, subs if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you next time. By the way, I'll, I'll leave the Nocturne card in the description below as well, but I doubt it's gonna be in stock. It's, it's, it's so rare, but hey, maybe you'll find it there. Bye-bye.